Hello, welcome back. In this short video, I'd like to focus on how to recognize early signs of re-innervation in needle electromyography. I'd like to remind you that it's best to start with my uh, primary on needle EMG if you're completely new to the subject. As you recall, when we perform a needle EMG, we stick a needle inside the muscle and we aim to record the electrical activity of muscle fibers. All muscle fibers connected to the same motor unit will, will provide a motor unit potential as you can see here. In cases of severe nerve injury, all muscle fibers have lost contact with their axon and will start producing spontaneous muscle fiber activity, fibrillation potentials and positive sharp waves. And in the initial, initial stages after nerve injury, this is the only signal you will see in your EMG. As the nerve starts to regenerate, it will start forming new sprouts and these sprouts will enter the muscle and will start making new connections. However, these sprouts initially are still immature and the number of muscle fibers that are connected to a single axon is low. And this leads to small polyphasic motor unit potentials, as you can see here. In the next slide, I'll show you an example of what this looks like in real data. So now you know what motor unit potentials look like in the very early stages of re-innovation. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you again for watching and I hope to be back soon with more content.